Hi guys, Pete here from Scoot Masters. How the bloody hell are you guys going today? Hey, listen gang, you can always tell when I've got this look on my face that I'm excited. And normally, the reason that I'm excited is because we have a brand new Scoot to review. And that's exactly the case today. Woohoo! hoo This is the brand new, well, this one's brand new. Uh, the E-Move Cruiser, supplied to us from our good mates at Electromotion. And uh, I've got to tell you, gang, we've actually had this scoot for a few weeks now, and a lot of our members have been riding it. You know what? Like it? We love it. <laughs> it is a nice bit of kit, and it's uh, it's a it's a medium sized scoot, I guess you'd call it. But uh, you guys know that I have a fleet of scoots uh, in the shed at home. This one is rapidly becoming my go-to scoot and my favourite scoot to ride. I really like it. Just uh, running through a few quick specs. It's only a single motor and it's only 600 watt. However, it must have some huge ass controller in it because that rear motor uh, peaks at 1600 watts. Now, as I've just said, lots of our members have ridden the scoot and not one of them has had to push it up a hill. So they've certainly got a stack of hill climbing ability for a single motor scooter. Righto, apart from all that, there's a few other little uh, good bits. We're going to walk around the scoot and just give you a little bit of a fly around. And then we're going to uh, take it for a ride and let you guys see it in action. Now, I guess the biggest thing about this scoot, no range anxiety when you're riding one of these, one of these E-Move cruisers. And the reason that is, is because they've got a 30 amp hour LG battery in them. Now, if you're an 80 kilo rider, 80 kilo or less, you can expect to get up to 100 kilometres range out of this thing. And uh, if you're 100 kilos like I am, uh, you'll get 80 kilometres range. Now we've put this thing to the range test, and as a matter of fact, with me on it, we got just a little bit over 80 kilometres. Uh, so you're never gonna have to worry about run, running out of battery in one of these, let me tell you again. Yeehaw. Now they're not the cheapest scoot on the planet. They're about 22, 50, 2300 bucks, something like that. Um, but they are a quality build, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Right, eh? Let's go have a look around the scoot, and then we're going to get our Scoot Master Stunt Pilot Kel to take it for a few laps around the park here. Woohoo! Let's go. Right, eh, guys? The first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful wide deck. Let me put my foot on it to show you. Now, they've got one of the biggest decks in their class. They're long and they're wide. And I find these extremely comfortable to ride just because of that. You can actually get back on the scoot. Um, get your weight back, which is where it should be when you're riding scooters, and there's plenty of real estate there to move around on. Fantastic. Another thing I really like about this scoot, it's got the most comfortable grips that I have ever used in my entire life. Your hands just rest perfectly in place there, and uh, that's great when you're doing the long haul. And don't forget, this thing will do the long haul. Right, uh, let's just walk around a few other little things. Got a key ignition, I quite like that. A little bit of added security. Got a voltmeter there. Turn him on. All the usual stuff. Of course, there are three speed. Uh, got a top speed in mode three, uh, supposedly about 50 kilometers an hour. We struggle to get it to 50. Once again, I'm a 100 kilo rider, but we can certainly get it up around the 47, 48, off-road only, of course. All right, have a look at this nice big wide stemmy. I believe they're 10 inch wheels, they are air inflated tyres. The suspension works very, very well on these and they've got a great little locking mechanism there. We'll show you how that works in a second. Come around to the rear now, now this is where all the action takes place. This is that single hub motor that I was telling you about. 600 watts nominal, 1600 watts peak. Now the other interesting thing about these scooters is that they have a semi-hydraulic brake set up on them. And I have to tell you this, the brakes work very, very well. These things pull up in a big hurry, let me tell you. Just a nice, comfortable scoot to ride, particularly if you're one of those riders like we are, and Scoot Masters here, and we like to do long distances. So we went for a ride yesterday, it was 40 k's. Fantastic. This is the scoot to do it if you're doing that sort of stuff. Now, I think that they're weighted at 120 kilo. I have seen on some websites where they say 150. Personally, I wouldn't put 150 kilo on it, but uh, certainly 120 is fine. As stated, they're a, uh, a 30 amp hour uh, LG lithium ion battery. Uh, they're a 52 volt system. That'll get you wherever you want to go. 
you could ride from Brisbane to the Gold Coast on it and still have some charge left in the tank. <laughs> One thing I thought was a little bit weird on these, I've got a nice little set of deck lights down here. Now we all know that LED lights mounted low on the deck are pretty much hopeless, but you know, they work. But there's nowhere up here to, to turn them on. And you actually turn them on by a little switch under the deck here. Just thought that was a little bit odd. I don't know why they do it that way, but um, anyway, they work. Main thing, I suppose. Righto, our Scootmaster Stunt Pilot Curl is going to show you how this thing breaks down and folds up. What do you reckon they weigh, Kel? Uh, probably it's about 30. Uh, what, about about 30? 30 kilo there, I guess. 28, 30 kilo, yeah, I reckon that's about what they are. They're light enough to carry around. Yeah, well, I can carry around. That's yeah. Easy, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. Do, 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 do. Righto, let's go oh. scooting. Woohoo! Garage. Oh, hey, give it up! Cut it out! Kick it out! Give it in! Cut it out! Kick it out! Oh. Well, they get along at a fair pace, that's for sure. Yee ha! So Kel, you've just been for a scoot on the e mate, haven't you? What are your thoughts on the suspension, mate? Oh, well, it's lovely. It's a lovely ride. It's uh, smooth. Uh, it lives up to its name. It's definitely a cruiser. Yeah. Have, did it have enough power for you, do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I guess a single motor, right? So dual motor will trumpet every time when you want to take a hill. But uh, as far as on the flat, yeah, it's got all the power that I need. I mean, it's a cruiser. That's exactly what it is. Perfect. And what about the brakes, mate? They're uh, they're actually semi-hydraulic, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty nice. I'm a big fan of a hydraulic, so they're semi-hydraulic, so I'm halfway. But uh, yeah, they work well. They, uh, I, I feel confident. I feel safe on them. All right, mate. And is it the sort of thing you think you could use every day if you were just like scooting to and from work? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's for, man. This is not a this is not a thrill seeker. This is not a speed demon, but it's a good solid ride. I think you could rely on it, and it's comfortable. Yeah. W what about the overall build quality of it? Yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's good. I like it. I feel, I feel safe riding the thing. Yeah, yeah, me too. I love your shirt, mate. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> right, again, there you have it. We're giving this scooter five stars. Yeehaw, nice bit of kit. I'll put a link down here where you can, where you can buy one if you want one. Woohoo! I think we might even have a discount code available for them too, do we care? I think so, yeah. I think we might even have a Scoot Masters discount for one of them. Click on the link below and find out. Right, eh? Love you guys. See you, mate. See you, mate. And our chase scoot today, gang, was the ever-reliable Dragon GDR, supplied to us by our good mates at Bike Scooter City. And we quite often use the Dragons uh, for chase scoots and camera scoots, and we also use them for tow scoots because they always make it home, every single time. <laughs> See you guys.